blotches, like if coffee or water spilled on them, uh, cracks and wrinkles, uh, things like that in the photo. Um, and the reason I wanted to do this was because it's a very big market and it's uh, potentially a very big money maker for you. And um, instead of just grabbing a photo that I knew how to fix already, um, I went to Google and I typed in old photo, medium size images, and I grabbed one of the first ones I saw. And um, I thought I'd go ahead and fix this photo up because uh, people are going to give you guys a photo that you don't necessarily know right off the bat how to fix. And you're going to have to uh, come into a couple of different problems, uh, come, come up with some workarounds for a certain thing. And so I thought this would be a really good chance to do that with you guys. So um, I hope you guys uh, will enjoy this lesson, and let's get started. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to fix these splotches up in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a selection with a five feather on my lasso tool here. And then I'm going to hold down Control and Alt, and I'll just drag over that. And you see that kind of patches in real nicely. Um, not perfect, but if we use a couple of those to kind of break up the pattern a little bit, uh, we can keep that antique look while fixing the photograph. And that's, that's the main point that I'm trying to get here. Okay. And just have a couple little more things up here to fix. Um, let's go ahead and just grab a little bit of a bigger area. And you want to make sure you do your selection different each time so that the pattern is not the same over the whole photograph. Uh, that would not be good. So make sure that uh, you, do, you do do that. Um, next, let's go ahead and uh, the people aren't going to want this uh, border on it anyway, so we'll go ahead and just crop that out uh, down to right about there. And um, now we do have to fix this uh, color, or black color here. And how we're going to do that is actually quite simple. We're going to, again, use a five feather with a square. And we're just going to grab a selection here and bring it over onto this side. And you'll see we have a little bit of difference here, and that's okay. This time we're going to go ahead and use our blur brush, and we're going to give the strength all the way up. And we're just going to kind of blur that edge to start with. And then we're just going to go ahead and select around here. And go ahead and just do a filter blur and Gaussian blur. And let's not do it that much, just a little bit, about like so. That way we can then go ahead and... Uh, grab some different selections here. Like so. Okay. And the same thing happens for this line, but when we get down to where these people are and such, uh, it's going to take a little bit more than that. So let's go ahead and focus on that area. And you can see that split going right down there. Now, we could fix this with a blur tool a little bit and kind of just blur that edge. And I'll go ahead and uh, do that a little bit um, because, again, the photo is not perfectly sized. And I'll just continue doing this little bit of a blur right down through here. And it won't be a perfect fix, uh, but it will help to kind of hide it a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and go back to actual pixels. And you can see that's starting to get a little bit better there. Uh, I have a little bit more that we need to do to it. Let's go ahead and grab some of this area here, some from over here maybe, a little bit more like so. And this part here where this bike is, this is going to be the hardest part to actually do. Let's go ahead and drop our filter down to zero. Let's go ahead and grab this little section here and drag it over. And let's go ahead and just drag in some of these other areas here. Kind of like that. And then we can use the blur tool to kind of blur that edge a little bit. Okay. Let's see. We need to go ahead and work on this area here now. So let's go ahead and drag some of that over. And then we can use the blur tool again and kind of blur those edges. And just to kind of work this area in. And we can basically just do that all the way up the photograph. Okay. And this is uh, what I was talking about, uh, one of those workarounds. Um, uh, for instance, on this area here, we're just going to go straight across with this object like so. And then we'll go back in and blur that edge. Okay, Because that right there is actually a mantelpiece, the best I can make it out. 
um, so it doesn't need to be super, super detailed. Right, you can see there that looks really nice. It looks like it was supposed to. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab and uh, actually let's put it uh, below the background. That way we can go in between the two and we can kind of see the difference um, that we made uh, on that photo. Let's actually do this. Create a new one here. And then we can just go over to this image. bottom, copy that, and then we'll delete that layer, create a new one below it, and paste it. That way we can then go in between the two and we can really see uh, how we fixed up that photo compared to what it was. And you can see here that this uh, white area, or darker area over here, we definitely need to fix that up a little bit. So let's go ahead and focus on that area for a minute. And I tend to jump around a little bit to... Um, Actually, for a couple of reasons. Number one being that uh, uh, it keeps my mind open um, on the air compared to just focusing on one little detail area and getting it perfect. I kind of jump around a little bit and kind of get the whole image looking good, and then I focus on a little bit of details that is actually needed. Because um, otherwise, you could drive yourself mad uh, trying to do that. So uh, my suggestion is to you know take it easy and take it slow. And you can see there that really looks nice now. All right, and we're going to also apply some actual photo filters to this uh, object when we get it, or image when we get it done, um, to kind of clean it up and make it a little bit more sharper, almost like a brand new image would be that was done in black and white. Uh, so, you know, um, again, nothing major going on, just basic fixes, using some of the basic tools that Photoshop offers. Uh, it offers so many cool tools, but you don't really need them all on fixing photographs. They're used for other things that uh, we will be getting into so you know it, again just personal preference uh, mess around see what you can get I'm gonna go ahead and um, just speed up the film now on this one uh, from now on until I get this uh, streak going up here down the middle done because uh, again it doesn't need to be that perfect and as long as I get it to look pretty good uh, I'll be happy with it so um, let's go ahead and uh, do that now. Alright, and then I got up here to this area here, and um, I decided to go ahead and wait and uh, do this area with you guys because it has a lot of little details in here. And I'm actually going to show you guys um, how we can uh, fix up this area a little bit differently. And that is by actually using the healing brush tool. Okay? And I'm just going to make that diameter down to one pixel. Okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and just click right in here. And we're just going to kind of fix this area up here a little bit. And let's go ahead and up that diameter just a hair. And um, we had another lesson on do using the healing brush tool. So uh, if you don't understand what it is I'm doing, it's just alt and uh, clicking to grab a sample and then using your regular mouse button to actually draw it out. Alright, now that we 
we're getting back into the bigger area here. Um, and we can see when we look down this photo, we still have a little bit of a crease going on down and through here. So let's go ahead and go back in and clean that up a little bit more. That right there is starting to look pretty good. Okay, that area there now looks nice and uh, crisp and clean. Now we just have this top area up here to worry about. And this is just that easy, uh, you know, using the feather on it, grabbing the selection and uh, pasting it in. Okay, and right like that, that now looks pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and uh, check a, take a look at how we've really improved this image. As you can see here, we've gotten rid of the black, uh, dark um, liquid spillage that was on here. The cut that was down, or a wrinkle rather, that was down the center. We got rid of some of the smaller blemishes over here. And um, uh, that was uh, a pretty good job for a couple of minutes there. So, um, And we could go in and really spend a lot more time uh, going in with the little little details and really fixing this image up. Um, but, as I said before, y you know, people, when they, see, when they see a family photo that they've had in their family for uh, so many years, and they see that you can, you fix it up even to a point like this, where it's, it's not got the bad tears in it anymore, it actually looks decent, uh, they're going to be so happy f about it. I mean, you know, so... Uh, one thing we do need to do is we need to take this tail from this uh, tiger over here. So let's go ahead and just grab that tail real quick. And I'm just going to bring that over to this image here and paste it. And then I'll go ahead and use my healing brush tool to uh, kind of uh, mess around with that. And then we can actually use our paintbrush tool to kind of get that general color and we can just kind of draw that in like that and then use our blur tool a little bit to kind of blur it out and uh, same thing back over here if we can just kind of draw in this uh, back of this uh, line a little bit and then we can kind of blur the edges to kind of make it fade in a little bit okay and then we just need to fix up the area around the tail a little bit Let's go ahead and first merge those two layers together. All right, like that. And that looks pretty good there. Um, again, just going back and forth, seeing uh, how the photo is fixed and how we've done. And that actually looks pretty good. So um, I'm going to go ahead and delete the original photograph. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll just leave it there and I'll just name it Original. And then I'll just name this fixed. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a duplicate of that. And this is going to be real fixed, uh, or best fixed, I should say. Okay. And now we're going to start applying some photo filters that uh, Photoshop offers us to really enhance this image some. Um, and uh, so let's go ahead and go over here to our. Um, reduce noise and we want to just go ahead and take a look here let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit we kind of see the photo and we're just going to up the strength a little bit and let's see preserve the details we'll up that sharpen the details and you can see when I do that it really starts to sharpen up that image compared to blurring it out. Okay, so don't want to go to the point to where it starts to look grainy, so right about 70% will be perfect for us. And then we're going to go ahead and hit OK. 
and then if we go back between the two you can see it's very sharp all right take a look at this area right in here where these uh, railing is and you can see that on the old photograph it was kind of blurred out same thing all the tiger details all very professional looking and very sharp and crisp like it was meant to be um, and this photo is starting to look pretty good let's go ahead and do an auto levels on that and you can see it will really brighten it up in um, Photoshop and if we did auto color it wouldn't hurt to bring out some of the more um, yellow tone that was over in here of the image okay and that, that that really creates a nice looking image kind of kind of bright almost like the sun was coming from this angle um, but it is very very nice alright and then we can do auto contrast as well and now if we look between the two images our new one our brand new image looks so professional and so clean you would not even know it was an old photograph taken back in the late 20s or whatever so I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this lesson I hope you guys have enjoyed how to fix photographs up I know I have and I'll see you guys in the next lessons thanks and enjoy